All right, Shalom. We're going to start, first start off by giving all praise and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rikakadas. Double honor to the elder apostles from the great most time Titus is true. Peace to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that's pushing this truth and sincerity. Like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh commanded us to do. All right. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, well, I'm going to, you know how we do. We're going to be moving the camera back and forth, you know, due to the sun. You know, uh, sun comes out again, we'll move it again. Okay. All the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Barak Atham Yahweh, Barak Atham Yahweh Shah, for allowing us to come out. And do this work that we love so dearly, man. You know, building up the faith more and more as we come out. You know, uh, hey, it's beautiful, man. I love it. It's my, this, hey, rain, sleet, shine, sunshine, cloudy, and snow. And the Lord allows the word to go out, man. You know, to be pushed. All right. Yahweh Shai, this is the book of John, St. John chapter 10. And uh, let's start at verse 25. It says, Yahweh Shai answered them, I told you, and ye believe not the works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. So that's a cut. Um, I was watching the uh, Brothers Out of the Ohio uh, video uh, live, rather, yesterday. And uh, they had a, uh, uh, I guess it was an Ammonite who walked up, and uh, he was disputing that uh, that Yahweh Shai, that our Lord and God is the same people. You know, that lets you know uh, the spirit of Scripture said, "Seek ye out of the book and read," that they wasn't doing it because it's all throughout the Scriptures, man. Okay, but you know the Holy Spirit has to be dealing with you know uh, men to allow them to understand the scripture, man. All right. Okay. So it says, uh, uh, it says they bear witness of me, but ye believe not. But ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. So, you know the Lord, like the Lord, the Lord. Uh, uh, have have been given sheep or uh, 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 you know to follow him, man. Okay, so that's what it is. You know, we have you know men that are you know part of the two third club as well as uh you know the uh, the elect. Okay, it says uh, verse twenty eight. It says, and I would give unto them eternal life. See, that's the elect. Only the elect will receive, a, well, beginning with the elect will receive uh, eternal life. Then, you know, uh, the two thirds that are uh, put to death here by uh, anti-constabilistic missiles, which is known as uh, the lake of fire, will be, uh, you know, uh, uh, born into the kingdom. All right? It says, uh, It says, and they shall never perish. Let's read that again. St. John chapter 10 and verse 28. It says, I will give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Woo! Uh, Barak Thumb, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man. Hey. Hey, the elect would never be, uh, 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 you know, back into the world. You know, the, the spirit of the Lord has them, you know, gathered together, man, okay, in the spiritual sense, that they're not going to go back into the world, man, okay, that's beautiful, man, the Lord said, uh, uh, can't remember how the scripture actually go with Barbatum, but, you know, he was going into, uh, you know, pretty much the same as this scripture, man, you know, uh, uh, he that is my sheep shall uh, follow me, okay, roughly paraphrasing, it says, uh, 
Hey, let's get that again. St. John chapter 10 and verse 28 says, I will give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Jesus shall any man pluck them out of my hand. You know, and that eternal life uh, is uh, explained in detail in the uh, first Corinthians, I believe, 15 and 52, 51, whatever. Okay? Eternal life, man. They, and that's why Esau Edom is so mad, man, because him and his kingdom is only going to last for so, you know, so long. Okay? The Lord is going to give his his people eternal life, man. Even the two-thirds that have been, that will be put to death on the shores of America are going to eventually come back, you know, be born of the loins of the elect, man, and going to live forever, man. Okay? No sickness, you know? Uh, uh, none of that, man, because... The Lord, the, the Lord tells you in the scriptures that the law will be implanted in, in us, man. You know, right in us, man. Meaning that, you know, sin is the wages of death. And if the laws are in, in incorporated in us or, uh, you know, you know, we won't sin. Okay. Which means we're going to live forever, man. Okay. It's going to be a natural thing for us to keep the statutes, laws, and commandments, man. You see? It's going to be a natural thing for that to happen, man. Okay? Hey, uh, verse 29, it says, My father which gave, gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. See? Hey, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's three different entities. It's the Holy Spirit. Okay? It's the Son. And the Father, man. Okay. And the angels played the uh, uh, the role of the Spirit, man. Okay, allowed things to happen, man. All right. It says, uh, and this is what get them all screwed up. It says, verse thirty, John chapter ten and verse thirty. It says, I, I and my Father are one, meaning they are one minded, man. Does mean they all the same entity, man. You see? And that's what people get it all miscombobulated because when it says that, man, okay? Meaning they are, 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 are one, you know, uh, not person, but a one mindset. Okay? Uh, verse 31, it says, Then the Jews took up a stone against, to stone him. And these are the wicked Jews, man. You know? Because, you know, if there were Jews that followed Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? But these were the wicked Jews, man. And these wicked Jews are on this earth today, man, playing their lot, man. Okay? Doing the same thing, man. All right? Being mad because these words, man, cut like fire, man. <laughs> or cut like, uh, 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 should I say, uh, they cut like, uh, how does the scripture go? Let's get that, uh, the Hebrews, man. Okay. Let's get the. Uh, this is Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. It says, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, powerful, and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intent of the heart. So the words of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, man. Okay? Even back then, man, with uh, these wicked, wicked Jews, man. Okay? So people get it mixed up that saying that the Jews are different or, or, or the Jews was wicked. All the Jews wasn't wicked, man. You know, the Jews was what, uh, the Jews were, uh, same as they are today, man. The Jews was, uh, uh, uh some was righteous and some was wicked. Okay? Because how you understand that, you know, you had Jews that followed a uh, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, uh. It says, 
Verse 32, it said, Yahweh shall answer them, many good works have I showed you from my father. From which of those works do ye, do ye stone me? So the Lord is telling them, man, he showed all types of uh, beautiful uh, works, you know, and, 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 you know, you had the wicked of the Jews, man, they were, they was upset, man. All right. All right. Uh, Let's see. Let's read on. Uh, verse 33, it says, The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because thou, being a man, makest thyself the most high. Okay? Ooh, I'm glad I wasn't in that, you know, uh, uh, in that mindset, man. You know, because it could have been, you know, either one of us, man, could have been in the mindset of thinking that, you know, uh, that Yahweh Shah wasn't who he say he was, man. Okay? It says, uh, 34, it said, Yahweh Shah answered them, Is it not right in your law? He said, Ye are gods? <laughs> and that's Psalms 82 and 6, man. So the Lord made us gods, man. Okay, made us gods. What's going on, brother? That's the Psalms 82 and 6. Let's get that, man. Hey, when you say you gods, man, people get uh get their their their, their underwear twisted in a in a, in a, in a uh a, a tangle, man. The scripture tell you that we were gods. We're, hey, we're following gods now, man. We're not as we don't have the spirit and power. You know, to a certain extent, but we don't have the power that the Lord is going to give us, man. Let's go to Psalms 82 and uh, 6 and show you that the Lord made us God, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 82. Let's start at verse 5. Well, you know what? Let's just start from the beginning because this is a short chapter. Psalms 82 and 1, it says, The Most High standeth in the congregation of the mighty, he judges among the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and accept the person of the wicked? You know, and you know who the wicked is, man. The so-called white man. Everyone is playing their lot, man. People don't understand it. Hey, it ain't for you then. It's for the elect. Okay, if you're not part of the elect, then you won't understand it. Okay, it says, uh, defend the poor and fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Okay, and this is a prayer, man. Okay, and that's what the Lord is going to do with the elect, man. He's going to deliver, you know, uh, us out of the hand of the wicked, man. Because right now we're all in the hand of the wicked, even the, even your uh, uh, so-called uh you know, co-worker that works with you. He's an Edomite. Hey, he's in the hand of the wicked too. Okay, that's what's going to make, you know, the end of this uh, uh, rulership so so beautiful, man. Because, you know, the, the elite's going to have their own nation of people fight against this, uh, you know, this uh, current system, man. It's going to be a major upset, man. Okay? Of the wicked elite, man. They, hey, they thinking, you know, that they're going to fill their bellies, but at that time, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to destroy this uh, devil right out of the earth, man. Going to blast into the Stone Age, <laughs> where he's going to be using his hands that he probably never touched a thing in his life, you know, his soft baby booty hands to break stones, man. You know, he's going to be the new the new slave, starting beginning with the, uh, uh, the elite bankers, man. You know, the rulers of this nation. Of this earth, should I say. It says, deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Yeah. You know, and that's due to the uh, uh, the rulership of the wicked. Like uh, Job 9 and 24 says, the, hands was, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. So this is what you see now. Everything that's going on in the earth is because of what the wicked has done, man. Okay? 
the rulers of the earth, you know, beginning with the top uh, uh, elite bankers, man. You know, they're the wicked of the earth, right? All right, uh, let's read that again, verse 5. It says, they know not, neither would they understand. Okay, and that reminds me of one scripture that said that uh, uh, he would never understand righteousness, man. Okay. Okay, why? Because the Lord put him, that's his lot to be wicked. Okay? The wicked don't, don't understand righteousness, man. Because his one mind said it's to be wicked. Okay? Even to his own. Uh, it has a scripture go, uh, uh, how, who can do good that does wicked unto himself? Roughly paraphrasing it, okay? It says, uh, that's in the uh, Apocrypha. It says, uh, it says, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Okay? Yeah, the foundation of the earth is out of course. And you can tell that's the wicked, man. The wicked has the earth foundations all out of course, man. Look at, uh, the, uh, look at the, uh, uh the sea and, and, and the way, uh, they messed up, uh, Pretty much anything that you speak of, the wicked has, has, you know, defiled it. You know, you can't even get good food anymore. Which the scripture also speaks on that we were going to eat our food defiled among the heathens, man. Okay? It's by the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah that allow us to uh, continue to push on, man. To be able to live. Okay? To be able to live. All right? All right, reading on, this is the point. It says, Psalms 82 and 6. Psalm 82 and 6, I have said, ye are gods, and all of your children of the Most High. All of you are children of the Most High. And that's talking to the Israelites, man. The Lord said, all of ye are gods. Okay? All of ye are gods, and all of you are children of the most high so we know who the children of the most high is the israelites man okay these different uh churches don't understand these scriptures man you know the church is only a, a you know you know they running off the government that 50c3 charter man these hey it's just a business for the church man hey they sell smooth words man they don't sell you prophecy or tell you prophecies or things that that's, uh, that's gonna happen man you know, they play off of your emotions, you know, and that's what the church does, man. Play off of your emotions, man. If you're an emotional person, look, you're good as taken, you know, by the churches, man. These different so-called churches, man. Okay? That's what they do, man. You know? They play off of your emotions, man. And they know uh, women are very emotional. So that's why the church has more women than anything. Okay? You're playing off your emotions. Getting rich off of your emotions, should I say. <laughs> yeah. But the Lord says, he said, I have said, ye are gods, all, and all of you are children of the Most High. Okay? Who are the children of the Most High? Not everybody. Only the Israelites, man. Okay? Look, God made all nations of people. Okay? But he has a favorite. Who are the Israelites that walk the earth today? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites, man. Hey, the people those that's over in Israel now, they are not the Israelites, man. Okay? Look, hey, look up uh, uh, 1948, the uh, Balfour uh, Independence, Declaration of Independence. They put them over there in that land, man. Okay? And, and gave them a nationality or uh, not even... Uh, I guess it, you can't call it a nationality because you, in order to be uh, from a, a nation of people, you have to be born of that person, man, or, or that man, should I say. Okay? Because the man determines, you know, your nationality. Okay? The man has the seed. The seed is the, uh, uh, you know, come out of, uh, semen comes from seed, man. Okay? It means to plant. All right? So you planting your seed in whatever woman or nationality she belongs to you know that seed or that baby is gonna come out whatever that man is man 
What nationality that man is, that's what the seed is, okay? So the man determines whatever nationality it is. So you can be a so-called black man that has a white woman. Guess what that baby's gonna be? A so-called black person. Woman, I mean, girl or boy, right? Uh, and that's in the book of uh, Numbers. I think it's Numbers 1 or 11. Forgive me for not knowing it right off, but it's in the book of Numbers. Okay, uh, let's finish up Psalms 82. So the Lord tells you that his children, we are gods, man. You know, like the guy said, he said, we the lowercase g. <laughs> you know? And he hit the spot on. It said, verse 7, But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O most high, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Woo! That's beautiful, man. The Lord said you're going to inherit inherit all nations, man. All nations is going to be inherited. Okay? That's a blessing from the Lord, meaning that we're going to have slaves, man. Uh, let's go to the book of, uh, let's see where we're at. Uh, let's go to This is uh, what we were just speaking on about the body uh, being changed. Because right now, we, 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 we can die like men now. We're not gods now. You know, we are fallen. We are fallen from a higher state. Okay? And that's what they talked about, the anger, fallen angels, man. That's us, man, as a, as a people. Hey, Philippians chapter 3, verse 20 says, For our conversation is in heaven, but whence also we look for... Uh, the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Woo! Hey, that's beautiful, man. The Lord is going to change our body and make our bodies like his, man. <laughs> hey, that's beautiful, man. No more toothaches, no more, uh, your, uh, you know, your body, your side hurting and, you know, your stomach bloated and you know, you know, you, you're getting bruises from, uh, uh, you know, working at the plantation. You know, the Lord is going to uh, make us uh, us new again, man, in the, in the spiritual state. That says, for our conversation is in heaven, for whence also we look for the uh, Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who shall change our vow body that it may fashion like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things to himself, man. <laughs> the Lord said he's going to change our vile body, man. Hey, we're going to live forever, man. And we're going to rule the nations, man. All nations are going to be up under our foot, man. We're going to rule all nations of people, man. Okay, the Israelites, well, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Got a can of tuna sticking down through it. You see? <laughs> you see? Hey, we ain't gonna be poor and needy no more. Okay. Like the scriptures say, he shall uh, he shall lend to you, and you shall not lend to them. Hey, it's gonna be a a a, a, a role reversal, man. Alright, hey, it was just like a pack of poor people just walked by homeless people, man. Even they, his young kid is homeless, man. God dang it. Why do you how about see me out of shot? Why do you how about see me out of shot? Hey man, cause that could have been either either of us, man. Could be in that situation, man. I just thank the Lord for allowing him to have mercy that he had, you know, for me to be able to get up and have a mindset of no one, man. Uh, 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 remembrance. Okay. Okay. Let's go to uh. Let's go to Romans, man, because uh. You know, people don't believe that we're gonna rule the earth, man. Okay. This is Romans eleven. Uh. 
Verse 4. That's beautiful, man. What I was speaking on. It says, but what said the answer of the Most High unto him have I, I said, I have re reserved to myself 7,000 men. Okay? And that 7,000 is going into a completion. So the Lord has reserved 7,000 of his people, meaning a completion, not an actual number. Okay? So, you know, when a lot of people say doing slavery, you know, uh, uh, the so-called white man raped everybody. Hey, that, you can't rape men. <laughs> you can, but that's not going to change, you know, uh, uh, him having babies, man. That's not going to change anything with him, uh, you know. He, hey, look, Esau Ethan, the so-called white man, was uh, uh, he was fighting a, uh, a fight that he could not win, man. It was impossible for him to win, man, through the spirit and power of Yah by Shemel Shah because, for one, you know, he needed slave men. Okay, he needed slave men. So, you know, you know, the woman can't get out there and do the work that, you know, us and our, or our forefathers had done, man. They couldn't do it. You know, he was fighting an uphill battle, man. And he's still fighting that uphill battle that he's not going to win. The water, you how about she, man? Have a shot. Okay, it says, uh, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Okay, those are different idols. Okay, the Lord said he has saved, reserved to himself 7,000 men that shall not bow the knee to Baal. All right. It says, verse 5, it says, Even so, then at the present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Woo! It's a remnant that the Lord saved, man, and that he's going to save. Okay? So it, no one is saved right now, man. People that say, oh, I'm saved, man, you're sadly mistaken. Okay? If you're saved, then you you know well, uh, you own that chariot already. You're in the spirit world, basically. Okay? That's the only way you're saved. And you got to be an Israelite. Because all spirits, uh, you know, ain't going to be saved, you know, to be, uh, 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 you know, uh, in rulership. They're not going to be saved to rule the nations, man. Okay? And then if you in the heavens, you, you ain't speaking. Not down here on earth the way we can understand it, you know? Oh, you know, you know, just roughly paraphrasing. Okay, it says, uh, verse 6, it says, And if by grace, then is it no more of works? Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But, it, but if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, works is no more work. What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded, you know, and that's hey, I see that all day, man, you know the, 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 the elect you know, was uh, 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 have obtained that mercy, man, and the rest were blinded the rest of the Israelites were blinded, man, I see Israelite men, women, and children that don't know that they're Israelite they're blinded to the fact of who their true nationality is Okay, so you can't go back to a nationality of black, you know, no, and we're not African American because uh, uh, African comes from the uh, uh, the name Afri uh, Afri uh, Kana, Scipio Africanus, which was a so called white man. Okay, and America go back to the uh, uh, same Roman so called white man. Okay, America Vespucci, should I say? Did I, did I, yeah. Yeah. So, hey, you can't uh, derive so-called, you can't get a so-called black man out of a white man. It's never happened, man. Now, you can get so-called white people out of black, out of uh, black, so-called black people, man. Okay? So, that's what you had with the story of, uh, you know, uh, uh, Isaac and uh, Rebecca, man. Isaac and Rebecca had uh, uh, Jacob and Esau which was so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man that arise uh, out of uh, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, so-called white, 
man and woman, child or whoever comes out of Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, man. Okay? Hey, this book is a, 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 a scriptures, man. Just like a script that you have in Hollywood, man. You see? It tells you everything that's going to happen. You know, some is a, a, a parabolical uh, sayings, you know, that some may not understand. But through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shimei Oshai, by Shimei Kakudashi, allow this, this seal to be, you know, uh, broken so we can understand it. The mysteries of the Bible has now been, you know, broken and have been given to our elder apostles and on down, man. Okay? The mystery of the Bible, the seal has been broken. We understand it now, man. Hey, that's like the scriptures say, hey, the, uh, uh, the, the gospel shall be preached throughout the four corners of the earth, then the end shall come. This is what you're seeing. This is what you uh, uh, are seeing right now, man. You're seeing true men of the Lord that's understanding these scriptures, man. And know who Babylon the Great. We know America is Babylon the Great in the scriptures, man. And Babylon the Great has to uh, uh, has a debt to pay, okay? A detrimental debt that this place is going to be destroyed by intercontinentalistic missiles. Hey, hey, the, the EU and NATO is going to come against America, man. That's, hey, you know the scripture where it talks about the uh, lake, of, uh, lake of fire? That's America, man. It's going to be that lake of fire. It's going to burn forever and ever. Okay? Why? Hey, because look at the sins America has done to the Lord's people, man. Just starting off, that's just one thing. Okay? The so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Lord's people, man. And you so-called white people has touched the apple of the Lord's eye, man. You so-called white people have a judgment that's coming, man. Not by the prophets. You know, the prophets just to come out and tell you what's to happen. The Lord tells us to prophesy to all nations, man. Okay? And the so-called white man, woman, and child is going into captivity. By the way of, uh, uh, after America is destroyed by intercontinentalistic missiles, it's going to be the elite that's going to, uh, going to escape that nuclear blast. You know, the elite bankers, you ever heard of the Rothschilds and those, that, that's who rule the earth, man. They're going to escape the nuclear missiles. Okay, and they're going to be the first round of slaves, man. The Lord tells you that, man. He that, what it says, uh, he that had fear, let him hear, you know. He that uh, leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed by the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints, man. This is truth, man. If you don't believe the scriptures, then, hey, so let it be, you know. The Lord is going to come back and what they call a, a, a UAP, you know, it's going to it's gonna be over the whole earth, man. You're going to, everybody, like the scriptures say, every eye shall see him, man. Every eye going to see the Lord, man, when he comes back. His image on how he's looking, man. Okay? The Lord is going to come back looking like a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, man. That's in the book of Hebrews, man. It tells you that, man. Let's go to, uh, I'm thinking of this one scripture in Hebrew. That's beautiful, man. You know, uh, let's, uh, let's get Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7. So this is explaining how our Lord is going to come back, okay? So it's a such thing as uh, reincarnation, man, okay? So the things that... Uh, 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 so-called slave masters had done to us as a people, guess what? They're going to come back, man. Okay? They didn't die off and all their wickedness is getting erased. That's not going to happen, man. Okay? So the Lord is going to come back, man. Check it out. This is Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds. Every eye shall see him. And that cloud is what they call a UFO or a, a UAP. Okay? He's coming back in a cloud, man. It's going to be from one end of the earth to the other. It's going to be so big, you're not going to be able to see the end of it. Okay? It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. And all kindred of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, our mind. See? Hey, when our Lord, Yahweh Shai, comes back, every eye shall see him. You know, and I pray that, 
you know, everybody that's speaking against the prophets, the true prophets of the Lord, okay, they're going to remember this day. They're going to remember that that guy, that so-called black guy with the white woolly beard said it, man. But, you know, not just me. Hey, the Lord puts these words in thy mouth, man, and allow us to say these words, man. All right? Uh, let's go to the book of, uh, let's go to Hebrews. Okay. This is Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So that's the faith, man. The faith is that everything that the Lord spoke on in the scriptures is going to come to naught, man. I mean, it's going to come to pass, should I say. Okay? It's going to all come to pass. Okay? Uh, verse 6 it says but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him see that he is man hey, and that's what Yahweh means Yah meaning he and uh, uh, power is exists man okay so you know they had to play the jingle bells so you won't hear this truth, man. You know, they playing these jingle bells. They don't want you to, uh, uh, they don't want me to spoil the, uh, the plan. But this, hey, the plan has already been spoiled. But they tell them, go tell the bell boy to ring the bell. They don't want to hear them. That's cool, though. That means I'm doing something right. All right, it says, uh, Let's read on, it says, verse 7, it says, By faith Noah, being warned of the Most High, of things not seen, and yet moved with fear, prepared an ark to save of his house. So, hey, Noah knew it. Noah had fear, man. He was moving, man, trying to get, get that ark built, man. You know? Hey, he was in the spirit. All right? It says, uh, it says, by, by the witch, he condemned the world and became heirs of the righteous righteousness, which is by faith. Okay? So that's what it is, man. Hey, you have one people that's on this earth that always thank God, regardless of if they knew or know, know his name. You know? You got one person that, you know, a group of people that, you know, you can see through the, like, the awards, the Academy Awards. You have a, a so-called black or Hispanic guy come up there and say, I like to give all thanks I like to thank the God first. Hey, no other nation have a zeal, man, like we do. You know, our people have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. It says, uh, verse 8, it says, By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should, after uh, receive for an inheritance, obey, and he went out, not knowing whether he went, you know, and that's, hey, and that that comes down to uh, 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 knowing that, you, hey, the Lord is going to bless you, man, and to be obedient, you know, and our people have a, a hard time to be obedient, especially our so-called black women. They hard-headed as hell, you know, and, and our, our men are too, man, and that's why, you know, the so-called white man has taken the so-called black man out of the, uh, the house, man, so we, the black so-called black woman is raising little demon kids, man. Emotional as hell with AK-15s and switches on their blocks, man. And spray up everything, man. Scared as hell. Scared to fight. But not knowing he gonna go to jail for a hundred years for shooting up every damn thing because he's going off of his emotions, man. You know? Hey, like men, we need to be able to conversate like men. And get the resolution resolved, man. You know? Get things resolved. That's hey. 
That ain't gonna happen by uh, being emotional, man. Okay, you gotta be uh, able to uh, talk like men. That's why you got our uh, young boys, man, that's, you know, uh, 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 cutting up and shooting up every damn thing, you know? And, 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 and our men are locked up, man, you know? And that's in the scriptures, man, that, uh, you know, that we we're going to be locked up, which, you know, we kind of use that as a, uh, uh, a reference to us, okay? Uh, but hey, that's that's part of the uh, that's part of it, man. Okay, let's go. Let's jump back uh, over here. First Thessalonians chapter four, and um, verse eight. It says, "He therefore that despise, despise it, despise it not man, but the Most High, who had not given, uh, given unto us His Holy Spirit." So whoever despises His word doesn't despise me. They despise it. Hey, you how about shooting me out of shot? Hey, you taking up with hey our Lord, man. Okay. Hey, taking up with our Lord, you know. Cause hey, we just vessels coming to uh, do what we were commanded to do. All right. Ooh, uh, First Thessalonians chapter. Uh, one in verse uh, six, it says, seeing it is, it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense, recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, man. See, this is a righteous thing, man, for the Lord to recompense uh, uh, tribulation unto them who trouble us, man. Okay? You know, we're being troubled daily. We're being troubled by all nations of people daily, man. We look down on, as a spectacle, man. Okay. Hey, verse 7 says, And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Okay? And that goes back to that uh saying uh what we were just speaking on. What uh so-called UFOs are gonna come, you know what they call it gonna destroy America, man. Babylon the Great. Okay. It says uh verse 8, and flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not the most high and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, so the Lord is coming back to punish, man. Hey, the Lord is coming back to punish and, and, and hey, like the uh, uh apostle uh the boss said he got coming back to two things to save and kick ass. <laughs> you know, I seen uh, one of the old videos back from, uh, I guess it's 2016 or something to that extent. Or uh, 2006, I believe it might have been. All right. Uh, verse uh, eight, uh, verse nine, it says, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord Yahweh and from the glory of his power. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired and all of them that believe because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Yeah. That testimony is going to be believed in that day. All right. It's going to be believed because it's going to see in his belief. All right. Seeing is he believing in that day, man? Okay. And that refers back to uh, Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7. Every eye shall see him, man. Every eye shall see him, man. 
All, all people are gonna see the house by shooting outside. Okay? Some are gonna be uh, mourning and some are gonna be glad. Okay? All right, read it on. 11, it says, Wherefore also we pray of always for you that our power would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of, of faith and power. All right? Yeah. All right, uh, all right, this is uh, Titus. All right, this is Titus chapter one. And verse 3, it says, but had in due time manifest his word through preaching. That's what we're doing. We're manifesting the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai due to, uh, 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 the, uh, uh, you know, the form of preaching, you know. It says, uh, it says, which is command commended unto me according to the commandments of our power and Savior. Okay, let's jump down to uh, verse 9. It says, Holding fast that fearful word as he hath been taught that he may be able to able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. You know? And that's, you've got plenty of gainsayers, man. And people don't believe what this Bible says, but they go to church. Okay? How can you go to church and not believe what the scriptures say? I mean, you just go on to church, just, you know, just to be going. All right. Uh, verse 10, it says, For there are many unruly and vain uh, talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, meaning uh, uh, Israelites, man. You know, vain talkers and, and deceivers, man. You know? You know, we started with these so-called black churches, man. Started with the so-called black churches. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the preachers and the, you know, whoever, man. Pastors and deacons, man. You know? They are of the circumcision, man. Meaning they come from the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Which eventually became a law for us to be circumcised, you know? Okay, uh, verse 11, it says, who mouth must be stopped to subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Yeah, for the 501c3 charter and, you know, tax uh, cuts and breaks and, you know, uh, uh, different things that are given uh, to these different uh, pastors, these, you know, uh, uh, lump sums of money, man, just to continue uh, uh, keeping the uh, congregation this year. All right. Uh, Second Timothy chapter three, and uh, let's start at verse one. It says, uh, "This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come." Okay, and that's and then that's the uh, that's the time and the age that we are now, man. Perilous times shall come. You know, we have uh, they get more wicked day by day, man. They letting the wicked as the most wicked things come about, man. And, and pass laws on these things, unrighteous decrees. Uh, verse 2. 
It says for men shall be lovers of their own of their own selves, uh, converts, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy. Man, you know that's what it is. Man, you have people that you know are mainly kids that are uh, unthankful. Man, you know. Their parents trying their best to satisfy them or to please them, and they, you know, they being, you know, unthankful. So you know, those these are perilous times, man. That the end is not almost near, man. Uh, it says without nature, affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinence, uh, fierce despiters of those that that are, are good, man, yeah. Yeah, man, you know, you make yourself a prey when you become a, a righteous, man, uh, you know. Okay. Let's go to, uh, And here's the reward right here. Uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 36. And verse, uh, well. Let's see. Let's start at verse 30, 30 uh, chapter 36 and verse 1. It says, have mercy upon us, O Lord. God, Yahweh, of all, and behold us, and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations, and let them see thy power. Okay, lift up thy hands against the strange nations, and let the nations see thy power, man. Verse 4 says, as thou hast sanctified in us before them, so be thou manifest among them before us. See, that's what it is, man. Conway comes down uh, uh, to you know the righteous and the unrighteous, man. Okay. It says, uh, it says, and let them know thee, as we have known thee, that there is no god but only thou, O power, man. See. Yeah, how about Shem Yav Shai is the only uh, uh, power there is. Okay, so this is a prayer, man. It says, show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm that they may uh, set before thy wondrous work. Yeah, man, the Lord is going to allow that to happen, man. You know, and, and some of those have, been, have come to pass, man. Like I've seen this one video with this, uh, you know, it's an older video. I believe it's in 2016, going into uh, when the, uh, I guess this uh, NASA satellite had captured, you know, uh, uh, the father ship, but it looked like a father ship, you know. That was, you know, I believe what he said it was like eight times bigger than the Earth. Okay. It says. Uh, Verse 7, it says, raise up indignation and pour out wrath, take away the, the adversary and destroy the enemy. It says, make the time short, remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works, man, wonderful works. And that's what we're going to do, man. You know, we're going to uh, declare the wonderful works, man. All right. Verse 9. It says, let him that escape be consumed by the rage of fire. Okay, that's Esau. And two-thirds also. It says, and let them perish that oppress the people. Yeah, that's Esau either, man. Okay. 
Verse 10, it says, Smite and sunder the head of the rulers of the heathen that say there is none other but we. Okay? And you know, that goes back into him thinking he's God, man. It says, uh, Verse 11. It says, Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou, thou them as from the beginning. You know? And they let you know that once the two thirds are put to death, the Lord is still going to, you know, bring those spirits back, man. But they're going to be in righteousness, man. Okay? It says, O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name. Okay? Thanks, Yahweh, man. The water, Yahweh, man. Okay? Uh, it says, And upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn, be, it says, O be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of rest. Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and give thy people thy glory. You know? And those unspeakable uh, 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 oracles is being spoken now, man. Okay? Through the spirit and power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, read it on. It says, give testimony unto those that, uh, that thou hast possessed from the beginning raise up the prophets that have been in thy name yeah man you know the service the prophets man it says uh reward them that wait for thee and let the prophets be found faithful man yeah so that's what's gonna happen man the, the, the faithful the, the prophets are gonna be found faithful why because y'all by see me outside brought us out there. It says the most demand would be a to, it'll be to not. But if it was the most high, the, you know, it's gonna come to pass. Well, the paraphrase. Paraphrasing, should I say. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12. That's out of verse 2. We'll jump around in this chapter. Uh, it says, Therefore, chasten thou them by little and by little that offend, and warnest them by putting them in uh, remembrance wherein they have offended, that leaving their wickedness. They may believe on the old Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Abshah. Okay? And that was talking about us because we were once in that state, man. Okay? And I'm pretty sure it's, it's more uh, 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 men and women out there that uh, uh, have been offended. Has offended the word, but, you know, they know not, you know, what they believe. Okay? So that we haven't, we're asking the Lord, you know, to you know, bring in the elect, should I say. The elect of the nation of Israel, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It says, uh, putting them in the remembrance wherein they have offended, that leaving their wickedness, they may believe on thee, O Lord. For, it says, for if, for it was thy wit to destroy, so like it says, for it, for it was was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers both those old inhabitants of thy holy land whom thou hatest for doing most odious works of witchcraft and wicked sacrifices you know and the same thing uh is 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 happening now it says and also those merciless murders of children and devours of men's flesh and the flesh of blood and the feast of blood 
Yeah, man, these same things are happening now. It's starting to be, uh, 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 being, uh, you know, brought out or being revealed. Verse 6, you know, we have Oprah, you know, I heard about Oprah Winfrey also, man. She was into that, man. Which, you know, we know, if you got that much money, you know, the Lord is, uh, uh, uh hey, the Lord tells us, man, this is not our, uh, you know, our rest, man. You know, these things here are, 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 are made, this place here is, is, is for the wicked, man. This, this, hey, this is Esau, Edom's, uh, uh, uh kingdom, man. You know? We're, we're, we're pretty much, uh, uh, you know, want our daily bread, man. You know, you know, a uh, shelter, a roof over our house, of our heads, you know, and so forth. You know. All right, reading on, it says, uh, verse six, it says, with their priests out of the midst of their adult, uh, idolatrous crew. <laughs> And the parents that killed with their own hands sold desire of help. You know? And that's what going into, you know, uh, uh, the children, man. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, abortions and so on, man. Verse 7 is that the land which thou esteemest above all other may receive a worthy co colony of the Most High's children. You know? Which the Lord, the, hey, the Lord is gonna allow that to be uh, manifest. Well, yeah, it's gonna be manifest. It's gonna uh, uh, the, that 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 land is gonna be Israel. It's gonna be built up again. Okay. Uh, verse eight. It says, nevertheless, even those that spare us as men and did a sin once and forerunners of the the host to destroy them little by little. Which that's, that's the point. Let's jump to verse 22. It says, Therefore, whereas thou hast, thou does chasten us, that scores our enemies a thousand times more. It says, To the intent that when we were judged, we should carefully think of those goodness, and when we ourselves are judged, we should look for mercy. Yeah, that's what it is, man. What's up, man? What's going on? Hey, sorry to interrupt you. That's fine. Do you, do you happen to know where the homeless man goes? Uh, he usually goes down there. I haven't seen him. You that one? I, I, I'm not sure. He usually comes from that way down there. Oh. Uh, he, uh, he usually stands over there. So I, 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 I looked up and seen him. Then he disappeared out of the city. Yeah. All right. Uh, maybe if you put it back right where he stands here, he might come. I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah. Right. Thank you. I All right. It. That's okay. Uh, verse twenty-three. Hey, that's that's a beautiful uh, 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 mindset to have. Okay, let's read that again. Verse uh, uh, so Wisdom of Solomon, chapter twelve, verse twenty-two. It says, "Wherefore, whereas thou does chasten us, thou scourges our enemy a thousand times more." <laughs> so the Lord chastened us. And that made me think about what that girl, that uh, little video that's been going on, you know, that what this woman was saying, if God is with us, then why he put us through this and that, you know? And this this is a beautiful uh, 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 scripture, you know, for her to see or hear. But who's to say, you know, women, you can't just, women can't be a, a reason with it. Especially at this day and time when they know they can get up and use the phone, you know, get on social media, okay, uh, uh, go down to the wing place and get them a, you know, 10 piece wing, you know what I'm saying, with a, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, ranch cheese fry, you know what I'm saying, Cajun, Cajun ranch cheese fry, you know, as long as this is happening, they, they have that access to those things, you know, can't, they, they won't, you know, they ain't gonna listen. They're just gonna go off emotions, like we said at first, right? Through the Spirit. It says, Therefore, whereas thou hast, thou doest chastened us. So the Lord's chastening us. Have chastened us through, you know, slavery was a chastening, man. Okay? 
working the nine to five or working the nine to nine is chastening, man. You know, that Lord is only chastening us a little bit, man. We only going through a small visit of chastening, man. Okay? It says, therefore, whereas thou dost chasten us, thou scourges our enemies a thousand times more. Woo! And, and, that, and that brings back, uh, I believe it was Obadiah, where the Lord says he's going into captivity for a thousand years. Okay? A thousand times more. Okay? What our, our slavery, what, maybe five, not even 500 years. But this captivity, should I say. You know? And this is the, the end of all captivities, man. For us as Hebrew Israelites. You know? A thousand times more to the intent that when we judge, when we judge, we should carefully think, think of that goodness. And we ourselves are judged, we should look for mercy, man. Woo! Hey, we should look for mercy. And that's the scripture that says we should come boldly. You know, and, 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 and you know, we should come boldly before the mercy seat, man. <laughs> hey, man, it's beautiful, man. It's, I, I, I guess you can call, I'm kind of emotional my damn self, but the water you have by see me outside for allowing me to control a lot of my emotions, man. We should come, become, come boldly to the throne that you have by see me outside. I can't remember where it is. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can. Uh, boldly. Let's see if we can. Oh, it's in Hebrews 4 and 16. It's a lock it. The water you have by seeing you have a shot. Okay. It says, uh, let's start at verse 15. It says, For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all point tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. Woo! Beautiful, man. Uh, I think it's one in Exodus 25 and 22. Let's see. Exodus chapter 25 and 22. 25 and verse 22. Let's start at verse 21. It says, And thou shalt put the mercy seat above, shalt put the mercy seat above upon the ark. And in the ark thou shalt put the testimony that I shall that I shall give thee. And there I will meet with thee. And I will commune with you from above the mercy seat, from between the cherubims, which are upon the ark, and testimony of all things which I will give thee in the commandment unto the children of Israel. Okay? Yeah, man. That's beautiful, man. That's one of my, which I, I, I don't know, man. I can't say one. I say one of them. One of my uh, most beautiful uh, uh uh you know precepts man i love that one man so we're supposed to come boldly before for the mercy seat man because the lord has given us that man you know that's what we go to man you know in the times of trouble and times that we're not in trouble so you know that's what the lord wants us to do man is to come boldly before the mercy seat man let's read that again 
Hebrews 4 and 12, it says, or uh, Hebrews 4 and 16. It says, for let, for let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of trouble, in the time of need. And when the time of need gonna come, Jacob's trouble, man. Which, you know, hey, we give praises, you know, in the time of uh, trouble and, 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 and the beautiful, in the times that the Lord give us sunshine, man. So we're gonna go ahead and hit me right there and give all praise and honor to your howl, by Shimmy Yamashai, by Shimmy Kakudash, double honor sending over the apostles from the great millstone titles is true. Peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that's doing the work of your house by Shimmy Yamashai, by Shimmy Kakudash, and shout out warm to the elect.